All right, so this part I will start the air brake test. So I'm telling the tester that I'm making sure that I have 120 PSI on the needle and I hear this bit of out sound before I started the test. Um, the first part would be the parking brake. I'm gonna test the parking brake. I'm gonna try to pull the bus forward uh, with the parking brake set and the parking brake should hold the bus. So my procedure would be you know, starting in neutral with the parking brake set. I'm gonna put my foot on the service brake, release the parking brake, put it in drive, apply the parking brake, take my foot off, gently accelerate, and the bus holds. Put the bus back in neutral, and that's the parking brake test. I stop there. I'm right, gonna rebuild my air pressure to 120 and wait for the governor cutout valve to sound. All right, so the next part would be the pressure loss. I'm gonna test the brakes, make sure there are no leaks, and no more than three PSI lost in one minute. So to do that, turn off all my electrical switches, AC, radio first, turn the dial to engine stop, turn it back to run. I'm gonna put my foot on the service brake, release the parking brake. And I'm gonna wait for my needles to stabilize. I'm gonna hold this for 60 seconds and I'm listening for air leaks. And then on the test, you look at your watch and you hold that for 60 seconds. All right, so after 60 seconds have passed, I tell the tester, okay, I didn't see the needles drop more than three PSI in one minute. So now I can move on to the next test. All right, so I'm still holding the brake from the pressure loss test. I'll move on to the air war the lower warnings and alarm. Um, so I'm not touching anything. I'm leaving the parking brake as is. I'm gonna fan the brakes until I see the pressure drop around 60 PSI. I tell the tester I should see the lower warning and light and alarm come on. And then I'm gonna keep fanning after that. Around 30 to 40, the parking brake should pop out on its own. And then I start doing it. So once I see it and I hear it, I hold for a second and I tell the tester I see the lower warning light came on and I hear the alarm and then I continue. All right, so around 30 to 40, I see the parking brake popped out. So all the lower warning is working fine and the parking brake's popping out. So now I just start the bus. It's already in run. So I just push the start button. I'm gonna build my pressure back up and I should see once the needles go past 60, the lower warning light should turn off and the alarm should stop. And then, um, this is where I would use the high idle, turn it on just to build the air pressure back up. And I'm gonna point out to the tester again when I see the light turn off and when the alarm stops on the way up. All right, so once the air pressure is built up to 120 and I hear the spit about sound, now I can test my service brake. Uh, to do that, I have to drive forward uh, at least five miles an hour and then apply the brakes and if I'm looking to see if the bus pulls to one side or the other, and if it doesn't, everything's working fine. If it does, there's an issue with the brakes, and I have to take the bus out of service, get that looked at by a mechanic. So I tell that, all of that to the tester, and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate the procedure without moving the bus. So, neutral parking brake set, it's always our starting point. Foot on the service brake, release the parking brake, place bus in drive, and you drive four or five miles an hour, your hands are gonna be channeling the steering wheel. I'm not gonna hold it, just channeling. Uh, once you go in above five, then you apply the service brake, and then just watch if the bus pulls one side or the other, or if it doesn't, then that's what you're gonna tell the tester. Once you complete it, then you put the bus back in neutral and apply the parking brake, and then you can step away. Uh, 
that should be the last section of the air brake test. So once you're done with the service brakes, then you can tell the tester that completes my air brake test. And that's where everything is locked in. And that uh, well, you cannot go back and do the air brake test a second time. So make sure, you know, once you complete this part, make sure you got it. You know, if you have to go back, if you're confident, then just tell them this completes my rig test.